Hello, I'm back everyone. And besides one of my um, wireless earbuds kind of messing up, I've been having a pretty good day today. <clears throat> so let's get right back into this game. Because I, I really don't know where I am in the story because Hotland is like a little bit before you get into Ascor's castle. You usually fight Metaton. Like I'm not trying to I'm not trying to say that like <clears throat> you're gonna be doing this in this game, but I'm trying to figure out like where geographically I am. Uh, hey, uh, who did that? Uh, uh, Clover, you can hear me, right? Uh, I'm gonna try and blast a hole in this thing. It is immune to, I assume, ice damage or laser damage. It's gonna take a lot to break through. To think we are almost free of this place. Um, just look around for a switch or a keypad. There's always one near doors. <clears throat> oh, weird. There's like some something I couldn't walk past here. Oh, uh, there you are. Um, shoot, what was your name? Axis, I think? What's up, man? <clears throat> Main power source not found. Initiating emergency backup power. What was that? Did I just hear Axis? Uh, uh, you, you, man, you, you tried to shut me down. I have had it with you and your friends thwarting my plans. Thwart my plans? Are you? I am this close to directing all my steam into my root finger. See, my hand can transform on a root <laughs> finger. And yes, I am yelling. My typography box just lacks exclamation point character. A shame, but at least I have question marks. Hey Clover, I don't think we can outrun this guy any longer. Please try to find a peaceful way to out with him. I'm sorry, but I don't want Chujin's creation smashed to bits. Outwit, maybe. Outgun? Never. It's just like, it's just like how it goes. It's like... <laughs> I have yet to meet a man who can outsmart a bullet. I am dick off and out of non-lethal options. So prepare yourself. I am attacking now. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> my programming is preventing me from attack. Is my light working? It, is. <coughs> it says you are not a current threat or registering arrest. Or resisting arrest. Uh, forget this. Here, I will make you a threat. Trash can? Hold this. It suits you. What, am I gonna steal it? There, now you have drawn a weapon. It's blunt. Loopholes are wonderful, are they not? What does the genocide run of this looks like, I wonder? Because I assume you just shoot things. Now, time to die. Ooh. Got like the Matrix um, code crawl. Axis, Axis model 014, ready to attack. Um, cool. You pull on your shirt repeatedly and helps to beat the heat. Your effort fails. Oh, oh. <laughs> what are you doing with that lid? Oh, that's actually kind of clever. It was not supposed to be useful. 
That is cheating. Access seems on edge. Uh, brace. You ready your trusty shield for whatever awaits. Oh, I did not buy stuff. Uh, granola. You stuck on the gravity granola. You can really taste the 9.8 meters. HP is maxed out. Oh, I'm not good with trajectory. Scrutinize. You tell Axis he's not great at his job. If he could frown, he would. What was that? What did I say? Not is not a word. Why did I say that? Death by metal and magic. Wait, isn't that the same as um, metaton? Check. Attack 13, defense 12. Today means the surface. Whoa, what, what did you do? Oh. This is flipping through the Royal Guard guidebook in his mind. Okay, so I gotta make sure they hit this back. But... There you go. I did it again. How? Wait, this is your doing. Of course it is. Do not jock me again, okay? It smells like an unfortunate part. Like red and blue in every single. Brush yourself off, little bit. It's time to put the axe in axis. Uh, should I retry or go get more items? Because that vending machine did not give me much. I'll try one more time. Oops. Nope, don't want to do that. So bad at like ricochet bullets.
just have a little bit more. Just mix it up like that. Alright, let's go see if I can find some items. It's gotta be like a, f a fast travel back so I can buy some. It's like that vending machine. Oh wait, there should be a vending machine. There was a vending machine that kind of just like bad mouth me. So that should have some things. The only thing is I can't sell to it. I think there's armor too. Whoa, what? It's so eerie being places without any, um, any sounds or any music. Okay, I think it's around here. There you are. Alright, let's see, I have like about 200 left. I can get some granola. Um, dihydrogen monoxide is a little bit cheaper. Potato crisps are actually a lot better because if I'm under 5 HP, that usually means I'm gonna die anyway. But 13 is actually pretty good, all things considered. Let's get a few of those. Safety goggles. What do I currently have on? Uh, regular old potato. Like, are they saying potato crisps or potato chips? Um, stats. Attack zero, defense ten. Next, rubber ammo. I guess I could equip the nails, but they don't really do anything. Can I sell anything to you, or are you, like, just gonna be angry at me? Oh yes, I will gladly dispense of your garbage, hand it over. Please stop. I was just trying to be funny. Oh hey, Mr. Laughing Man, welcome. Oh shoot, what were you doing against the rat mafia? Do you still have their cheese? It looks like it has eyes now. Um, back. Safety jacket, flint, steel buckle, feather. What were some of these items? Because, like, I should put this away. Buy a couple more. Uh, yes, I stole the cheese from the casino after losing them in poker. Well, see, now that's what you get. <laughs> um, wow, the granola heals you a lot.
Okay, I think that's good for me now. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, far be it from me to say that doing anything to the Mafia that is not in their best interest is not basically doing a public service. As long as you as long as you share the cheese. If I'm gonna keep quiet about this and I'm not gonna rat you out, you gotta share the cheese. Now that should be a lot better now that I have some something to fall back on. It's really weird, like they have this, but you really can't buy anything from it. You do get like some granola ones, but that's about it. I'm just skipping through this because I've already seen the dialogue. The thing I'm most surprised about is that you would think in a game where you play as the yellow suit that you would have more sections of the game that you would like just be like, shooting, just kind of like the, the yellow sections in the original game. I guess it's different because it's like your main thing. Oh no, you're good, um, Mila 2020. Also, welcome. I'm glad to have you back. Oh, this is the movement one. Drop it. Just kick it into the fiery pit below the 
is simple. Axis thinks this music is a bit intense for his tastes. He criticized Axis's attack strategy. Steam shoots out from his hearing effects. Oh shoot, oh, oh. Oh, I'm prepared for this. Oh, he's not shooting at me anymore. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I kinda like that one. That is enough. Unbeaten ounce to you. I bought brought a backup plan. Portable generators equal infinite battery. Good luck. What did that work? Clover, I'm almost through. Whatever you're doing, it seems to be working. Keep at it until he's out of juice. Um, I can hear you. You two think you are so smart. Ha, I do not run on juice. <laughs> In fact, I do not run at all. I roll. Obviously. What are, like... Even the generators have the Delta Run on them. Oh, that one's gonna be a bit of a pain, isn't it? Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Dang it. Can you aim at me if I go right here? the one I was aiming for, but I got it. Seriously, I am reaching unheard, unheard levels of dict. Level 7, at least, your fault. Mr. Laughing Moon is sharing the cheese he stole from the, um, the rat mafia. Oh shoot, what? Oh, that is it. <laughs> uh, chisps, please. Whoa, whoa. This one's pretty cool. It's just like a little bit. Oh no, I got it. So maybe if I go right here... And... Oh no. So if I go here... I'm bouncing. Nope. I don't know how angles work, I didn't do good in... Um... Math. Axis 
successes flipping through his Rogart handbook guidebook in his mind. Oh. Oh, the headbox on the piece of the That one. I think this next one should be it. Okay, what if I stay perfectly still? Spinning wheel of death. So if I do miss anything, I'll see you play. Hey, no problems, um, Milo 2020. It does happen. It happens to all of us. Um. So oh. Okay, I got it. There he goes. Aw, oh, his hands fell off. Beep, beep. Shutting off strenuous emotions to save power. Ah. What did you do to me? I don't feel an utter murderous rage anymore. I do not know what to do with myself. Suppose I will stare at you blankly until you do something. They de-hand you. <laughs> Axis is staring at you blankly until you do something. <clears throat> uh, plan B? <clears throat> Excuse me. You ask Sereba to present your metallic creation. Of course. Hey, Axis. What? How do you feel about second dates? <laughs> like a calendar. Why does it kind of look like a time bomb? I... What is this? This feeling? Uh-oh. <laughs> Soulmate look soulmate located. Perfection personified. Where has this beauty been all my life? Holy The shimmer, the complexion, the curves. C U R V E S. Okay, that's enough. Clover, let's uh let's wrap this up.
this emotion. It feels so nice. I must thank you for opening my eyes. I had no idea wondrous sights existed. Glad we could finally reach a level of civility. Can I keep them? Whoa, slow down. Here. Do you want to know a secret? Yes, I would like to know a secret. Uh, they told me that they like you, but will only go out if it's casual. Get to know them a little first, you know? Ask what their name is or something. Okay. Alright, good. Give it a shot. Hello, my name is Axis. What is your name? Ha ha, you are so funny. Want to get married. Hey, remember what we talked about? They said yes. <laughs> what? I am honestly just as surprised as you. This rocks. Okay then, I'm happy for you. Well, not to rain on the parade, but Clover and I have to go. Go where? Hotland. Just a business trip. Well, I wish you a pleasant journey then. <clears throat> Backup battery extremely low. Please recharge. Oh, suppose I should go do that. Recharging will restore me back to my factory state, but... <clears throat> added hatted human and tall lady to authorized list. There, now I will not attempt apprehension next time we meet. Thank you, Axis. You have a good life. I will try. Oh, one more thing. Hmm? You said your husband was my creator. Would you tell him that I miss him? He was always very kind to me. I... Yeah, I'll tell him. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, that kind of happens a lot in Undertale. <laughs> like, I remember, um, Undyne was really gunning for your, like, for your soul. Uh, I gotta say, that was pretty entertaining. Glad we could bypass Axis without destroying him. Turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. I don't know why I doubt it. Right. I see our exit up ahead. We're close. What's this? Let's not venture off the path. Have I had enough steamworks for one day? Oh yeah, this right here is the tile for Hotland. Oh, that's cool. Oh, an elevator. We actually made it. Let's hope this elevator works. <laughs> Next stop, the lab. <laughs> and what are you planning to do at the lab? <clears throat> oh, it's Starlow. Wait, she's a grown lady? I thought she was a teenager. Uh, you didn't know that? She has like a daughter, I think. Starlo, what are you doing here? All right, let me get into the Starlo voice. The gang and I were planning to a return party for you. Thought it was a great idea, especially for Kanako. That's very kind of you. Yeah, well, we went to your old house to spruce it up. After all, this would be a perfect time to move back in. Ed, what'd you find while cleaning? Uh, I was sweeping the floor and spotted something. Almost invisible, tra an almost invisible trapdoor, an entrance. Sereba, 
What's actually going on here? What really happened to Kanako? No, why? This can't... Quit mumbling yourself and speak up. Why'd you need Clover? I don't want this to escalate, so tell the truth. I... I have to go. Clover, come on. Sarabah! Ed, take Clover back home and keep watch. I'll chase after her. Right. Just gonna pick me up again, is it? Oh, there I go. There I go. <laughs> Just plant me in the ground. Ugh, I'm never traveling with the... Traveling via laundry chute again. <clears throat> Ed, you're back. And Clover, too. I was worried sick about you. Where's Star? Cerebo ran away and he chased after her. Alone? Why did you let him do that? <clears throat> Star knows Cerebo more than anyone, More. Well, I'm not so sure of that anymore. Clover! Oh, everybody's here. Moray messaged me about you being in danger. So I dropped what I was doing and flew over here. Oh, I see. Okay. For some reason, I thought you were here for like, um... I guess you did just recently join Nilo. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Why'd you get feathers involved, Moray? I just thought she deserved to know. She can help. Thank you for reaching out. I heard that you found something in Sarah's old house. What was it? We didn't have time to look over everything closely, but it raised some some serious concerns. Papers, tapes, belong to Chujin. All the way is sign all way too scientific for me. Clover and I can scope it out. No way. I was told to keep Clover here. There's a potential threat to their life. There's always a potential threat to... There's always a potential threat to their life. If anyone can fix this, it's Clover. God, why did everything, like, get, like, pretty serious, like, right away? Fine, just stay on track. Can't have them run away or nothing. You know this? You know the way? I believe so. Okay, we'll meet you there. I still have to finish explaining everything to the group. Until then. Come on, Clover. I honestly thought it like last time was gonna be the last time I would see Marlet. Hey, before we go, I need to apologize. I shouldn't have let Sarah take you. I just I really thought I could trust her. We all did. And what I had to take care of in Snowden was far too important. You know what, it doesn't matter anymore. Let's focus on what Ed told us. Concer concerns regarding Chu- um... Concerns regarding Chujin, he said. Surely it's nothing, right? Chujin was almost like a father to me. I don't know where I'd be in life without him. I'll let you lead. Just head to the Oasis Valley. Nice to see you again, by the way. Oh, so we're going back. It has been a while since I've seen Flowey. <laughs> the cactus. I forgot. There's, an, there's a happy apple too. Which one is her house? I think it's this one. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're having a good time here, Nilo. And that you could, like, um, just kind of take some time off from, like, everything, I guess. I, I understand that. Which 
open is her house? It's a rock. Some kind of ancient inscription. Oh, cactus. I was going to give you a hug, but you won't let me anymore. Okay, there's a cafe. Um, is it this one? Am I in the oasis? Oh, this was locked before. Oh, I see. It's like a shrine. Wow. I wish Chujin invited me over back in the day. This house is incredible. Uh, yeah, let's get inside and see what the fuss is about. Piles of sand. Oh, I can go around. Is this place itself a dungeon? I should have asked where the papers and tapes are located, huh? Hmm. I guess we can take a. I guess we can take a look around. Should be an office somewhere. Estate. Freshly trimmed bamboo plants. Freshly trimmed bamboo plants. Oh oh. That was a door. You open the drawer. Nothing but old pens and pencils. <laughs> I'm glad you and I are somewhat um, similar, Nilo. You search the drawers. Just some knickknacks of various shapes and sizes. Oh, it's be Jujin's office. Gizmos and gadgets fill the desk space. Looming over it all. A map. On the map are several pin locations of... This isn't what I was talking about, right? I mean, this is clearly Chujin's office, but... I wouldn't say it's strange to keep track of where humans... Sorry, I'm sure this is upsetting to look at. Still, many monsters do keep up with it. Those events are a big deal down here. I guess that's where humans died down here. A few unfinished robots poke out from the box. Uh... I heard about Chujin's interest in robotics once. I guess this is as far as he ever got. Cabinet contains thesis papers on many different subjects. Whoa. These are all typed on cardstock. How wealthy was Chujin? Is cardstock expensive? Expertly organized files labeled with numerous monster names. Did he keep records of everyone he befriended? Sandra, Lewis, Dr. Fish, Rosa, Martlet. Wait, Martlet? He found another monster with my name? Can't believe that it never came up. A drawer full of videotapes. A label on the front reads, Home Movies. Well, I'm sure those are adorable. We don't have time to watch them. Gotta keep looking for whatever spooked Ed and Star. The home movies videotape is actually very recognizable. Dozens of books line the shelves. History, engineering, chemistry, all too advanced for you. I guess that's everything in this room. It's like a little... <laughs> little robot um, toy up there. It's a bedroom. It's actually a really nice bedroom. Several building bricks are scattered around a stuffed animal. Almost looks like it's watching me. I'm not sure I like this room. It is very unsettling. You open the dresser drawer and see many neatly folded shirts. 
I don't think we need to look in there. Books of a novice reading level lie in the basket. They carry similarities to books you've recently read. Aw, oh, I remember reading those as a birdling. Not to brag, but I finished them all in one day. <laughs> I may have exceeded my classmates by several grades. Aw, oh, so that means Marlet's actually, like, pretty darn gifted. Also a bit of a bookworm. An old TV and game console gathering dust. The game case has a handmade cover slip. Surface Tycoon, it says. Fusion programmed a video game for Kanako? Wow. Must have been awesome to have him as a dad. That would be, like, cool, like... You're a video game programmer and you make, like, games for your kids. Like, you know, like, what level of understanding they have, so you just kind of, like, tailor it to that. A sturdy bed sits bathing in warm glow in the warm glow of the dunes. What a masterwork. Hand-carved and everything. It's hard to believe Chujin had all the time to craft all of this. Mm, well, let me look at the pictures in the back, though. I think that's everything here. And that door is locked. You open the drawer. It's empty. I'm still hoping to find like at least some gold or something one of those. That's a big bed. The bed is tim tid <clears throat> the bed is tidily made. Doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. Oh shoot. Cardstock is cardstock is actually that expensive? Dang. I think I've had something on cardstock once, but it's like I I printed one thing on it. I don't remember how much I um spent. Uh, Sarah's many outfits um, hang in the closet. You can see someone else's clothes hidden behind the front row. Sarah knows what she likes, huh? Usually I'd be envious of such intense resolve, but... I'm not sure it's good trait anymore. Depends on how much you're, tr you're trying to get. Yeah, it wasn't a whole lot. I think I just needed like one to make something look nice for a project. You search the nightstand. You find a folded up PSA which you stash in your mailbag. What? PSA. Dear citizens of the underground, we are calling for fall- Oh! This is Asgore's call to everyone for the fallen down. We're calling for the fallen down monsters to be sent to Hotland for important scientific research. You sh should you choose to participate, your loved one will be treated with the utmost respect, the condition heavily monitored, and- you regularly notified of their status. This is a chance for tragedy to be turned into opportunity, for monster kind to finally see the light of the surface thanks to its citizens' invaluable bravery and sacrifice. For your consideration, Royal Science Division, and there's a Delta Rune. Oh wow, you. Um, do you, um, I'm not going to ask about your job because that would be like prying too much, but I assume it probably has like, kind of like a, um, like a really professional, like, air to it. That's what I'm getting. Oh, that's a cute picture. There's a mask in the background. Oh, I see. Oh, that's nice. Um, I don't think we have a school like that where I live, but there are programs at schools that um, offer that kind of thing. No, wait, we do, actually. We do have a couple places. I was going to say we didn't, but then I remembered, like, somebody in my family does go to one of those. And I almost forgot that there's literally like, a building for that. Um, I can't stand looking at that. It's... 
Let's just move on. The plant. Oh. You stare at your reflection in the sink water. The many trials you've endured have taken their toll on your appearance. But despite everything, it's still you. You reach for the knife on the counter. Nuh uh. Kids shouldn't mess with knives. Kids shouldn't mess with guns either. I think I might be guilty of child endangerment. You're just now thinking about that? <laughs> you open the refrigerator and find some leftover corn chowder. Oh. Uh, you that hungry? Um, alright then. I suppose she won't miss it, right? Some corn chowder. A reminder of your duties back home. Part of you wonders how everyone is doing, but the other part has moved on. What the plates? An old-fashioned gas oven. Best kept turn off, turned off. Wouldn't want a house fire. So I wonder if Clover is here for either retribution or some kind of, um, or if he thinks that they're still around. Because I don't think we've, like, totally gotten, like, a clear answer for that. Door is locked from the other side. Locked, huh? Strange. Guess I didn't start to another route. I think I've been in every room. Unless there's more rooms I haven't seen. Hmm, I've been in here. Maybe if I go around? Because there's a back- there's like a backyard. We need to find the things Ed mentioned before we go. Maybe in that office. Because I thought I looked at everything, but I did kind of skip around a little. Dozens of books line the shelves. A thick, degraded book sticks out from the others. Home, blueprints, annotations, ketsukane. Founder's Crest. Decisive, devoted, determined. Ooh. Oh, she left the fire on. That's not good. The fireplace is making the already warm house warmer. Pretty counterproductive in a climate like this. Still, it looks beautiful. Must be where they ate their meals. What do you see? Hey, uh... I need your help. You think something's under there? Alright then. On three. One, two, three. Oh, did we fall in? Whoa! Oh, never mind, we threw the table. Good hat, Clover. Ooh, I like the animation on that. Spooky. Well, uh, after you. Well, let me go around first.
What's this way? Must be the locked door. Oh. This is giving me you know where vibes. Oh my. What is all of this? Formulas, soul research. Hold on, look over here. Tapes? Each one has a date on it. it you know, maybe this is all a big misunderstanding. Yeah, that's probably it. We just watch these and clear the air. We'll just watch these and clear the air. Looks like Shinji's dad. Greetings, this is Chujin. I don't have much time these days for a written journal, so I opted for video. I have no idea who will view these, if anyone, but I see it best to document my work. This is all, that is all for now. Signing off. This is Jujin. Today I traveled to Snowden with my daughter on casual business. While I was busy, Kanago wandered off to play with a resident. That's when it happened. A few panicked townsfolk ran up to me, saying that a human had entered that area. This human, they attacked the monster Kanako. Uh, they attacked the monster Kanako was with. She was so close, she could have been next. No one was there to protect her, not even me. I don't understand. I, I just don't understand. Humankind is already won by trapping us down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. As of today, I'm looking into stopping this perpetual injustice once and for all. This is Chujin with, an un with unfortunate news. I was fired from my engineering position. I poured, all my, I poured my all into the project, but it wasn't enough. The programming was buggy, but I know I could have ironed it out with a few more iterations. Why am I punished for trying to take our struggle seriously? I feel as if I'm the only one who hasn't forgotten or chosen to live in ignorance. I told Sarah that I was retiring. Can't let her think less of me. But enough of that. It's in the past. I must live in the present and plan for the future. Prove I can save monster kind another way. This is Chujin. After years of research, I've made a breakthrough. Boss monsters. They may be the key to monster kind survival. I was able to reach this conclusion because I... I carry the boss monster gene. This means my soul is much stronger than that of other monsters. More importantly, boss monsters are immortal until they produce offspring. Right now, monster kind is, in few, is few in numbers compared to humanity, but... What if anyone could become a boss monster like me, like Kanako? As a nation, an army, we could finally possess enough power to take the surface back. My theory for this involves the fusion of a human soul and a boss monster soul. From that, a serum could be extracted, which could transform any average monster. Unfortunately, I have not garnered enough proof that said serum is possible. I must conduct more tests. This... this is Chujin. 
I was worried this might happen. Science is a dangerous game. Rather foolishly, I experimented on myself. Several times. Over and over. The subject rejected the fusion. And I think I know why. I'll be direct. My soul has deteriorated, and I don't know how much longer I have. However, I believe my theory holds stronger than it ever did. This is a message to my dear Saraba. This research is up to you. No one else would listen. After I'm gone, look for the next human who falls down here. Someone pure of heart, uncorrupted. I need, you, I need you to obtain their soul, but not just anywhere. You must have a boss monster soul nearby to fuse with. You'll need... Damn it all. Search for a willing boss monster in the underground. Someone else, please. Our little, our little girl, Kanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. That is my final wish. Oh, oh my gosh. I never knew. He never mentioned. Clover, we have to go right now. Come on. everyone's here. So, you figured it out? Yes. Cerebo's trying to carry out the plan that Chujin left for her. Something involving Clover's soul and a boss monster's soul. Which happens to reside in Kanako. What the? So she lied to us? About the mission to retrieve Kanako? She wasn't lying about finding Kanako. That's the alarming part. So Kanako's alive and well, thank goodness. Alive? Am I missing something? It's a long story. She fell down some time ago. Sereba sent her to the lab in hopes of, to remedy the situation. I had no idea. Okay, where was the last place you saw Sereba go, Ed? You ain't taking Clover straight to her, are ya? That's exactly what she wants, right? Yeah, Clover needs to stay with, safe with us. She can't accomplish her goal if Clover is nowhere to be found. We aren't going to let her accomplish her goal. And anyway, the Wild East is a tourist destination, a public place. My colleagues probably know a human is in the underground by now. If Clover stayed here, they would eventually tear the town up. Better to be on the move, yeah? Aye. Look, I need to fly ahead and scout the situation. So again, where did the two go? I don't think- Clover, you were there. Where did they want to go? The lab, most likely. That lines up. How land it is. Hey, I give Star my word. Let them do it, Ed. Clover's the only one that can make- It's the only one who can put this to rest. Alright. They took the Westmost Elevator in the Steamworks. We can use a laundry chute to get back there quicker. The elevator's destination sits near the core. Ask around if someone spotted which direction they went from there. Wait, we need to go too, right? We need to help all- we You need all the help you can get. I appreciate the offer, but please don't. This might get dangerous. Stay here and keep the Townsville happy like you always have. Okay, but please be safe. I'll try. Thanks for all your help. Even if you lock me in jail, a jail cell for hours on end. Hey, what are friends for? I can think of a few things. I mean, yeah, no problem. Clover, meet me on the rooftop of UG Apartments ASAP. We'll figure this out, I promise. Swoosh! <laughs> I like when she takes off. Uh, I, uh, wish you luck with this. Seriously. Yeah, I bet we'll all be catching bandits again shortly. 
I'll be sure to save you a spot in our, at our next nap time. <laughs> Just don't do anything stupid. See you later, deputy. Take a little water. Oh shoot, it's been a while since I've seen you, Flowey. Howdy. Long time no see, buddy. I've been waiting to tell you something. It's been weighing on my mind, so I truly mean to say it, mean it when I say it. Told you so. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't pass that up. Now I know this is part is this is the part where I tell you to ignore Sarah, but I have a strong feeling that it wouldn't sway you at this point. Honestly, I'm starting to want to see this play out. After all, that fox wants you to waste your soul on a science fair project. No good. I'm in your corner, like I've always been, so don't worry. We'll get rid of her and continue on, our, continue down our path. Easy peasy. It'll all work out in the end, pal. Well, can I go up here now? Oh, Chujin Ketsukane, the best of us. for a plus one. I'm just joking around, of course. <laughs> uh, how am I doing on items? I could use a couple more items. I think this cafe has some stuff. Right, I forgot about you. It'd be funny if they just rise from the grave. Please don't come alive. Okay, I won't. <laughs> so like a little oh, have I met you before? You kinda look like um uh, oh, hello. Please don't mind me. I was only tending to this little fella. Who are you? The the thick and they're thick and thin, and over time, the sapling is ready to blossom. What was once an idea within someone's mind is now reality. A little hard work and dedication is all it took to make something special. Something about you seems important. You want to talk more? Uh, how about that weather? There are too many colorful characters in the desert. <laughs> um, sure, it's hot today, like always. Do you like, um, air? I do. I breathe it all the time. Uh, I'm very sorry. I'm just not in a talking mood right now. M maybe later. Something about the way that was um, spoken about the little sapling kind of reminds me of this game. Maybe the character in there is like a Sona for the creator? That would be interesting. Right, it's mail time. Hello, greetings, hip hip hooray. What can I do for you today? Mail, please. You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is? Mail time, mail time. You receive mail. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. Whoop. 
I should probably read the mail. Start a little urgent. Hey, Cl <clears throat> hey Clover, something's up. I made up with, I made up with the posse as planned. All was going well, but then I began worrying about you and Sarah. But that's when I got the idea to break into Sarah's old house and spruce it up to celebrate her and Conigo's eventual return. Well, when Ed was sleeping around, we found we found some kind of secret room. Seems like it belonged to Chujin. We didn't have time to dig into it, into its content. But all I know is it worried us both. You may be in danger. Then again, maybe not. Just come back to Wild East for now. I can only hope this letter reaches you in time. Starla. Oops, I do not want to exit the game. Huh. Well, good thing I'm on the winning side. <laughs> I bet you'll handle Sarah but like it's nothing. Oh yeah, there's a well here. Well, 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 well. If it isn't the deputy. Will you sign my needle? Please do. Sure. How exciting. Here's a pen. You make a few scribbles on one of the those needles. Oh boy. Hope you don't mind if I sell that needle online. Ta-ta. Okay, you should have water. Okay, I think that's good. travel where I'm going. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to come back here. Oh no, you're good. After I finish this game, I do want to try and get back into, um... What was the name of that game? It was like a farming game. Uh, you know that elevator at the end of the Steamworks? I believe it's your ticket. Let's deal with that back stabber already. Oh, hello. I'm Needham. A few more days of scrubbing, and this inch of the bridge will be spotless. Uh, at the moment, I'm playing with a key. At the moment, I'm playing with a keyboard. 
I do have a controller I can use if need be. I remember I had to, I had to play Deltarune with the controller. There were like a couple things that I had to be like a bit more precise with. Or flexible is probably the better way of saying it. Oh no, this isn't the way I go. You go to the side. I wonder if I'll run into that vending machine again. Oh no, it, it's kind of like Stardew Valley, but it's um, you know, it's on it's on my desktop. I can just like do this real quick. Fields of Mystria. I've been wanting to get back into that. It's, it's like such a like nice, cute, and cozy game. I have played Stardew a lot, though, but this was probably before I started streaming. Oh, uh, oh, uh, what a sound. <laughs> you hearing this, human? Odd, a bit short, but endearing. Kind of like you. It is pretty fun, honestly. Like, I want to get back into it. I do remember I kind of played it quite a bit the first time I got it. Um, and I didn't want it to get, like, old really fast. So I kind of, like, went back and forth. How goes it, little fella? Sorry, but we're in a station break at the moment. Was broadcast was broadcasting in the meantime? By my face, of course. Ugh, this break can end soon enough. I don't want to be perceived. Okay, so there's like a laundry chute somewhere. Unless I like... Where did I see the laundry chute? Because I remember seeing one, but... Just kind of running through here. Oh, here it is. Oh, that was supposed to be the fast travel. See, this is why you pay attention. But it's not too bad. I liked running through there. Let <laughs> me shake this out. Uh, he said this already. Now this is familiar. Music is familiar too.
Yeah, I have heard that too. Well, here we are. Back on the familiar path. <laughs> There's like a little mail station here though. Oh, what's up guys? Bro, I came to the club to let loose and boogie, not wait in line. It's crab hour, is what they keep telling me. It's crab hour. Not sure I meet the requirements set for the club. My age isn't the problem, it's that I never got my dancer's license. Oi, if you wanna get in the club, you're gonna have to wait in line. That is, unless you're on the VIP list. I doubt it, but it wouldn't hurt to check. Would you look at that? I got a lad here that looks just like you. Go on then. We need Sans to fix this all. Well, I don't know where he, what he's doing right now. Also, doesn't this guy look familiar, huh? You guys remember his name? Come on, I gotta be on the guest list. Everybody knows my name. Okay, wait. Every time I see, like, a gif involved... Yeah, there it is! <laughs> Dancing Clover GIF. I don't know why this is the <laughs> this is the best thing. If you play the game for one thing, it's so you can get to this cute little GIF. But also the really good game that you get for free. Remember, it's a free game. Just look at him jam now. It's just a little fella. Ah, it is you. Welcome to my club. I'm glad I remembered to put you on the guest list. Now, join us in dance, will you? Hehe. <laughs> Move so hot, my worries are melting away. Hehe. <laughs> getting down, getting down. There really is a lot of crabs. Hehe. <laughs> Smooth with it. Hehe. <laughs> I freaking suck at dancing. <laughs> I wonder where I'm going. Oh, you're different. Hey! You caught, uh, you caught me chilling by my brand new house. That's right, just bought this sucker. I've been down the dumps lately, so I thought it was time to move on. Do something nice for myself, you know? I highly recommend something nice for yourself every now and then. That's the, it's therapeutic. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, um... Sometimes you gotta treat yourself. You can't see past the large blackout curtains inside. It's locked. Music producers only. Oh, what? A mighty roadblock stands in the way. Eh. No can do. Citizens aren't allowed past this point. Currently under heavy spider construction, as you can see. Ain't set to finish till 20xx or so. Oh, there's spiders! <laughs> Some Muppets probably in there. Well, I did buy a lemonade earlier. Oh, do you get, like, special mail at each station? Uh, mail. <laughs> what does this translate to? Um, if I had enough time, I probably could translate this. But, like, I do not have that time on me. Uh, 1001001, 1000001000001000. One zero zero one 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 zero 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 zero. Axis. <laughs> like I can read binary. It's just you gotta have the other stuff with you too. 
So does that mean I can get mail from the other, the other, the other, the other, the other, these other, these other stations? Why am I having so much trouble saying that? I'm just gonna check really quick. And it's so eerie when there's no music. Ah, uh, sure, it's the binary letter sent by Axis. Okay, so there should be two stations. Oh, there's actually no mail. Well, that answers that. Mail time, mail time, mail time. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna sh wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna wail. Mail. I do not know how to send letters, help me. <laughs> well, at least he signed it. Also, he like signed it with his, um, with I think ASCII art is what you call it. Oh shoot, I remember this place. Is there anything over here? Oh, they actually modeled this. Nothing but recalled gift shop products. You find a discarded hot dog in the trash can. Take it. Got a hot dog. Nothing but eviction notices. I wonder if there are any hot cats. Uh, you discover some monster candy in the trash can. It's butterscotch flavored. Take it. Got the monster candy. Aw, I remember monster candy. There's a note on the door. Stranger, please stop eating the cat food I leave out. It's for a stray who's stuck in here with us, not for monsters. Wait. Oh, I see. A swimming pool of champions. No response. The warm glow of a bustling lobby. Oh, shoot. Oh, howdy. We're nearing the castle now. What an eventful day. For kicks and giggles, why did why don't we tally up your death total? Drum roll, please. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba you died five times. I don't believe you. Wow. If I wasn't here to help, if I wasn't here to help, this all would have been a disaster. Maybe jumping down a chasm gung ho wasn't the brightest idea. But hey, all's well that ends well. See, I don't believe him because I'm pretty sure I died like way more than that. There's an inscription on the fountain. Hopes and dreams. Built 21X. You hear a faint melody coming from the statue. It's his theme. The West Bush. Uh, his theme is actually one of my favorite themes or music tracks from the OST. The East Bush. Just a regular wall. Right? Well, until Sans uses it, then suddenly it's like an entire side entrance to the restaurant. Who knows what might happen from this point forward? Continue? Uh, turn back. Want to look through the apartments? You know, the UGPS station at. You know the UGPS station right outside. 
Aaron's gonna be removed soon. All of them, in fact. You might think it's because letters are going out of style, but nah. The company is just switching up the business model. Direct delivery to citizens' mailboxes from now on. Convenient, but kind of bittersweet. I enjoyed my daily talks with the old station. Walks to the old station. Uh, at least this means everyone's gonna keep their jobs. That's good news. I'm usually a chill dude, but today has not been my day, let me tell you. First, the attendant needs my name so she can save me, so she can save me a room. Mr. Cursor, I reply. She steps back and goes, like some kind of war, like some kind of warlock. I say, what warlock? With visible confusion. I like to roll that ten-sided die as much as the next guy, but no, I'm Mr. Cursor. Turns out she thought I said Cursor, like she was, like I was gonna hex the joint. Really didn't need her input on my iconic name, but whatever. So then, I walk over to the elevator to head back to New Home. It's busy, so I wait, and I literally, and I wait, and I wait, and literally three hours pass. Next thing I know, the elevator opens, but oops. Mr. Cursor has a tendency to time out and fall asleep every five minutes, so I missed my one chance. And now I'm stuck here and don't even- oh. Go home! Bits and Bites. Oh, it's not Burger Pants. Welcome to Bits and Bites. Buy something, will ya? Asgore. Mr. Fluffy Buns is the shining beacon of our nation. Fluffy Buns? I remember a, a character would call him that, but... Oh, they got little Asgore plushies, that's cute. One of the main reasons we're so close to breaking the barrier and moving back up to the surface. Yeah, he's great at sticking, sticking it to humans. Hey now, Asgore carries a huge weight on his shoulders. You know, having to deal with all the unpleasant trees that come with harvesting human souls isn't a fun job. Hands look like a champ, though. I wouldn't choose anyone else to lead us in, into a brighter future. Genius, if you like him so much, why don't you marry the guy? Oh, you know I would if I could. It's a stretch of land with, that happens to be hot. Done. Are you explained? Ah, if you're doing, ah, you're doing a disservice to the rich history Hotland has to offer. But it's a rich history, all right. Costs a fortune to build the place. <laughs> but for good reason. There are impressive landmarks here, like the lab, spider house, UG apartments, elevator one through seven, conveyor belts. I think Burger Pants starts working here after Metaton takes over, right? Rocks. <laughs> it's a stretch of land with ha that happens to be hot. Yep. Whoa! Whoa, hey. Wind me up, bits. Uh, wind me up, bits. Wind me up right now. Excuse me, patron, but Buttons doesn't appreciate that word. It's not considered very nice where he comes from. Take your filthy mouth and dump it where it belongs or I'll shut you up right here and, and now, you expressionless infant. Now, Buttons, we talked about this. Finish the phrase, we don't. Punched who hath punched. I know, I know. We're working on it, but We're working on Buttons' anger management. Anger management. It's a slow process, but I think you'll get it sooner or later. I don't see what's so wrong with unleashing rage upon my enemies. I seriously don't. It's simple. Being kind to others leads to more profits in the shop. Maybe I should try a little harder. You're right. Toriel? Oh, um, heh. <laughs> That's a rather sensitive subject. I don't really know. Toriel divorced the king. Hilarious. Buttons. Disrespect. If the man's not right, the man's not right. Oh, you're such a handful. Am I right? Get it? Stop speaking. Sorry. The lab is located a good distance from away from here on level one. It's where the brilliant Dr. Alphys conducts important work for the king. I have a theory that some of the weird food in the underground stem from experiments gone awry in that building. Oh yeah? Like what? Ever heard of a thing called instant noodles? It's a freaking square that turns into edible worms. 
and put them in water. Science gone wrong. Poison it has to be. I've heard it's delicious. Have you tried it? Of course I have. I ain't afraid of death. <laughs> Sometimes I wish you were. Anyway, reaching the lab has been a pain lately. A lot of traffic. Almost like something's in the air. Something new. Oh yeah, um... Shoot, what was his name? The turtle, um... Dang. He also has an important role in, like, Deltarune, too. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Yeah, I think not much has changed around here in ages. Trust me, I've lived through it all. You have buttons? How old are you? I've seen more bits. Huh. Honestly, I don't know much about the former queen. Her whereabouts, how she's doing, all a mystery. Of course, it isn't any of my business anyway, so I haven't properly looked into it. I've seen your stash of gossip ma magazines. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to the customer. I mean, if one gets curious, of course, that's all really. Hey, I love reading them as much as you do. Stuff's spicy. Right? To be a, fly a flyer on the wall during the... The, um... Yeah, I do wish Toriel, I do wish Toriel the best. I'm sure she's made a fine life for herself. Okay, what are you selling? Monster Candy Plus Highly Addictive. CB Strudel. Tastes fit for a king. Oh yeah, Gerson. That is his name. Gerson Boom. That's, that's what I was trying to remember. Because I remember his last name and it sounded really cool. A floral cupcake made with extra flour. Delta Rune Patch. Represent the underground the underground. I only have four gold, so I don't think I can buy anything. Can I sell you anything? Sell an item to us. Buns, what do you think? No deal. No can do. Not in a hundred years. Hmm, 101? By that time you'll be dead, and I'll be running the shop by myself. Hey, that's pretty dark, Buttons. We live in a freaking cave. It's always dark. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Oh, you still work here. Hello and welcome to the UG Apartments. The leading establishment where your stay is temporary and, afford and unaffordable. I'm the handlord of this complex. Please do not say... You find it quite simple. You'll be kicked out. How may I be of service, Castle? Of course. To reach a new home, you'll want to take the elevator to my left. Uh, not left as in my appearance. Left as in the direction. You get it. <clears throat> of course, with the core being under maintenance, it is only the only way to reach the city. Heavy traffic is expected. Um, oh, hold on a second. I wonder why no one lets you sell to them. See, I always wonder that too, like, <laughs> it's only like a couple places you can sell stuff. <clears throat> I think I recognize you. Yeah, it's the hat. A blue feathered monster came in here and asked if you would, if I would tell you to go to the roof. She wants to meet you on the roof is what she said exactly. All I ask is, you please do not do anything illegal on the premises. If you don't mind, the complex is quite busy today. I need to attend to other guests. There's a lot of yellow flowers. A potted plant. Blub blub. I apologize, but we're all out of reservations tonight. A large party of ghosts are here. The kitchen doesn't know what to, how to make ghost food. Please come back in a few days. Please. What's up? You enjoying the tune we're currently banging out? Hope you are, cause it's the only one we're playing tonight. No request this time. Sorry, kid. Do I know you? Just trying to think my date stood me up. Been waiting here for three hours. The date is tomorrow night, but... Would it hurt? To show up a little early? 
Silverware is getting cold. That'd be funny if I could actually talk to one of the ghosts here. You notice a ranking sheet on the board. Winners of the Actually Magma Smoothie Challenge. Pyro, fastest time. Grillby, calm and collected. Cinderhead, struggled but finished strong. Heats, something. We forgot who he was. Starlo, was only trying to impress someone. Fuku Fire, most enthusiasm. No Cone, transported to the hospital. We might be in legal trouble. Yeah, you guys, it's Flames Hotspin. You gotta remember his name. Your destination. You notice a schedule of upcoming acts on the board. The name Metaton appears many, many times. This has gotta be the best restaurant in the underground. Seriously. You can't beat the food, the service, the atmosphere. Something always puzzled me, though. Where's the kitchen? Is it leaking here? Ah, rain. Beautiful droplets from the sky. Rep what produces rain? Is it magic, I wonder? Grandpa always said the rain is the manifestation of the underground's heartache. When monsters travel to waterfall to um, wish their worries away, those feelings are sucked up into the air and poured out across the land. From old sorrow comes new life in the soil below. If that's the case, some sad monsters must have stood in this corner for a long time. The ruler of the underground. You hear sounds coming from the plant. What? What? What's going on here? Do you think keeping a death tally is morbid? Apparently no one knows, you can only sell to Tem. Knowing what could have been keeps you humble. Grateful for everyone who helped you get where you are. At least that's what at least that's my flawos philosophy. Well yeah, in the original you can only sell to Tem, but um in this game I think there's a couple or maybe three people you can sell to. Yes, hello. Is that the mail, mail whale with my package? Skip the rhyming and leave it at the door, please. Who's there? I'm in the middle of robbing this nice apartment. Come back when I've escaped. I know, I know, I'm being evicted. Slide the notice under the door and I'll add it to the scrapbook. Currently on break, admiring a day's hard, a hard day's work. You resist the odd temptation to taste the mop water. Caution, slippery when wet. Caution, slippery when dry. A section of the tiling lacks friction, but we do not know how to fix it. Alright, it's about time. Got places to be, pal. Chop chop. I don't know what it's gonna say about the elevator. The elevator is in use. Core currently under maintenance. Please do not climb over the velvet rope. <clears throat> oh, I just realized they have little blue feathers here. Just so you know which way to go. Alright, I think this might actually be it. Oops. Alright, let's do this. Can you walk in the void? In the void? I don't think so. And this way goes to a completely different place.
Oh, you can't run here. At the end of the... Oh, no, you can't. I've tried. You made it. Great. What of you? That large facility in front of us is the core. The main source of power for the underground. Behind that is a new home, the capital city. I asked around and was told Sarabah and Starlow headed there. I guess she ran the opposite way of the lab to juke her pursuer. The two couldn't have gotten far. I'm positive we'll find them. We'll... Whew. It's all, settling. it's all setting in now. This is, like, super intimidating, right? Not just me? I don't know when I'll get another chance to say it, so I'll say it now. You are a kind soul. One of the best I've met. Left and right, you've been beaten and bruised, but you stay vigilant. You diffuse situations and mend relationships. A far cry from what I was taught growing up. Royal guards are told ad nauseum that humans are the enemy. I only ever heard so stories of war and our underground imprisonment. But you're different. If you could change my mind on humans, I know you can't ask worse. After we defuse the Cereba situation, we'll march right up to the castle, you and me. And then, well, you'll be on your way. But don't worry about me. When Monster Kine is freed, we'll meet again on the surface. By then, you might be all grown up. Wouldn't that be funny? Point is, I'm glad you hopped on my raft. Okay, we need to get moving. That way, West New Home. The elevator downstairs should take us right there. After that, I'm not sure. I'd call for backup in a scenario like this, but we're on our own. Outlaws. So, partner in crime, you ready? <laughs> little fist bump. Let's stop, Saraba. After you. Here, if I can, I'll check the void. I don't think you can go anywhere out here. Yeah, doesn't look like it. They must have left what out? I don't think there was anything before in, like, original Undertale, I think. A map of your current location sits above the bench. The underground is so much larger than you imagined. Now, Charles, I know you had a long day, but... If the dishes in the sink aren't done, we can't eat dinner. Can a guy catch a break? They put me in dock review all afternoon. I can barely move my fingers, let alone lather them in your weird soap. Despite lack of visible construction, the cones obstruct your path. Must obey the cones. 
as they are the deciders. Hmm. It is rather late, isn't it? Never stand the locations they could have gone at least. Dig around the bin and find a bottle of sizzle and soda. Take it. Do humans often eat from the garbage? Shoot, I could have left the trash bag out in Snowden as a lure. I'm only joking, of course. Can't judge anyone's culinary preferences after today. I know there's a place you can walk into the void, but that's that's more in Hotland, and that's on a specific date, like a super specific specific date. Oh, adult soda. Heals HP, a transparent liquid with no smell. What, just water? Oh no, I'm closed. Come back bright and early for a scoop of ice cream. Is that a church? This elevator goes to the castle. Probably the last place Sarah would run to. Let's keep searching the area for now. distressed. I'm sure we can negotiate her down from this, but worst comes to worst, we might have to retreat. Tactically, of course. Let's listen in. <clears throat> just leave me just leave me to my own devices, Star. <sighs> Sereba, I don't know what you're saying. Please calm down. I must go to the lab. It's where Kaneko is being kept. I have to get there by any means necessary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Don't get in my way. Or what, you'll kill me? I'll... Hey! Clover Knight, we watch the tapes. You need to let this go. If not, why are you here, Clover? You're supposed to be back home. No, thank you for finding me. Makes things easier. If I were you two, I'd leave Clover here and forget about this. It might not make sense to you, but it's for the best. Cut the self righteous act, will ya? Just stop it. We can turn this around, Sarah, but you said yourself that Conoco's alive. Let's just found her and go back to our normal happy life. Happy life? 
That's rich. I lied about Conoco Star. I had to. Yeah. Yeah. What? Falling down is practically a death sentence. Unless a miracle takes place at the lab, there's no... There's no help for, hope for her. Yeah. You. I, I'm trying to make the best of what I can, okay? This is all I know to do at this point. Conoco. Conoco is a boss monster. She's the key to finishing Chujin's work. This is his legacy, his plan for the future. Monster Kind's only hope for survival. Don't you speak for him. You've seen the tapes, right? Do you honestly think this is what he wanted? Kanako wasn't supposed to be a factor in this. If he were here, the Chujin I know would... The Chujin you knew... You knew nothing of him. No, Marlet's rat. We might have had some different views, but... Chujin was kind to everyone. I know you're... you are as well. It's just... that right now, I... I don't understand you. When I fought Clover, I was reckless. But when you want their soul, it's for the best? Not only Clover's, but... shut up. You think I don't know how far gone I am? Where's this high horse coming from? Sounds to me like we're in this pit together. Sarah, but please, just get out of here. Let me finish what I started. You can't have Clover. We're going to ask her, and that's that. Don't you dare. Marlin, grab, grab Clover. I'll keep Sarah at bay. Go, now. Oh, shoot. Son of a... Jeez. Clover, I am sorry what I, for what I've done. I almost wish you never showed up in the wild east. Maybe then I could have continued to bury my sorrows in the saloon. But now I must follow through with my mission. I've somehow grown to respect the hell out of you, but at the end of the day, you're naive. There's so much you don't understand about monsters. What did you think? What, did you think you'd jump down here and find them? Five humans living out their lives unarmed, unharmed? That isn't how it works. Guessing you discovered that truth, right? Then what? Was you was your and Martlet's plan to storm Asgore's castle for revenge? Or was it simply to plead for a free ticket back to the, back to the surface? He only needs two more souls to shout at the barrier. Wouldn't hesitate for a second to make that one. Who am I to criticize how he carries out business? Here I am, about to do the same thing, the very same thing. I am a hypocrite, a liar, sure. But at least I, with Jujin's guidance, can save countless monster lives. These two couldn't understand that. And Asgore? Asgore is a coward. Didn't believe in my husband at all. He thinks problems will disappear if he closes the curtains. I long for freedom, as much as anyone, but he... He doesn't consider that... Consider what will happen once he gets his souls. Everyone else, too. They all believe victory will come easy at the... Will come easy, but the humans I've heard of... They're all powerful, ruthless. As soon as we try to leave... They will stuff us right back into this hellhole. They want our misery to fester until we give up and die out. I'm no better than Asgore on a scale of morality, I'm sure of it. But what I am is proactive. Monster Kind is worth protecting, and I will see that it is done. 
Truthfully, I have nothing left in life, so I have made peace with throwing it away. You'll fight back, but you can't forever. Goodbye. No turning back. Cerebra, attack 13, defensive team, a legacy not to be forgotten. Try to talk Cerebra down, but her attention is impenetrable. Guard up at all times. Don't bind Cerebro's sub stories. It's a good thing I stocked up on items. Take a breath. The world seems to slow, but only for a moment. You look up at, Cer at Cerebro, enraged by what she's done. That's not fair. Is that mount? It kind of looks like a mountain. Ah. You can let this backstepper win? Not on my watch. This one just like swerve. <laughs> okay, just don't get caught on that one.
take a breath, the world seems to slow. Why don't- why won't you die? Oh, it's a bell. Why? Don't succeed, it's over. the dog. Mm, it's a spot. <laughs> Just die. It's... Mm. it's kind of remind me of the friendliness pellets. really have like one little speck of HP. Oh. Pew. Oh shoot. There it is. So let's come to this. My last resort. For Chujin. For Kaneko. For the future of Monster Kain. Oh boy, here we go. This music sounds really good. But I'm already out of healing items. Oh, they have like a 3D like effect to them. Oh my god. <sighs> 
Dang, they just really throw you in there. Okay. Basically, Asgore's fight. Oh, I died a different way. <laughs> Put auto fire on. That almost was worse that time. A little bit, huh? I'm trying my best. It's just, it's pretty hard. It's like I'm keeping up with it, but... to speak up. Okay, I got all my items back, thankfully. Um, endure. You refuse to back down in 7 inch room. Oh, sweet.
Think of those you love most. Speed temporarily increased. First part was hard, like really. <laughs> I don't know why I kept dying to it. What would you like to wear tomorrow, honey? Solomon and Christina are vis are paying a visit and bringing food too. I hope you, I'll help you up, and we can all enjoy a picnic in the on the front porch. How's that sound, Sarba? Yes, I don't. <laughs> this is all too pitiful. Hey, don't say that. We don't need to have anyone over. It could just be us. A picnic sounds lovely. Lovely. I want you and Kanako to have one. Surrounded by your closest friends. What are you saying? I... Gosh. You know... I was never afraid of it all my life, but now that it's so close... No. Shut up. Stop it. Say it like it is, or don't say anything. I can't do this. Not now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's something I must tell you. My work. We never talked about it much, did we? No, we didn't. When I built this house, I installed a basement. What? The entrance, the entrance is under the Kotatsu. Always has been. There I worked towards a project. Something much bigger than myself. Bigger than us, all of us. I don't understand. I recorded a message for you. When I'm gone, I would like you to, to view it. Will you do that for me? I will. I promise you I will. I haven't seen tears from you since we met at the crossing. I save them for moments that matter. I'm glad. Because this moment matters a lot to me. Oh, and she was listening. What was that? Were you in my head just now? You have no right. Sarah is shaken by the memory.
refuse to back down in 5 HP. Shoot. Please don't bump me back to the beginning. Okay, good. Forgetting to press X, I assume it's a way to get out of the possible circles. I thought I tried that, but it wasn't working. I'll try it right now, or I'll try it again this time. Press the X, I don't like. just be unavoidable damage, but that would kind of suck. <laughs> Considering how hard this boss battle is, I wonder if this is actually the final boss. Actually, I, I, I figured it out. Uh, 
uh, you hold the direction and then you press X. forget that I have to do the thing. Sorry if I'm not saying much, I'm just kind of concentrating. Uh, one free hit in the beginning. Uh, yeah, if I use hope, I think that gives me one free hit.
focused on the flames. girl, Hanako. She needs to live a happy life, unaffected by my endeavors. That is my final wish. Uh, Kaneko? Uh, what are you doing down here? Is, is it true? Uh, uh, what? Am I different? Uh, Kaneko, I... Daddy said he would would have lived a long time if I wasn't here. He would still be... No, no. Your father loved you. And he didn't want to put you in any danger. You heard him. His dream. All these books and papers. You've been trying to finish it, haven't you? With my limited abilities, yes. But it doesn't involve you. I've been looking into ways to create it, the serum without a boss monster. I'll figure it out. I have to. But I found this in the trash. You figured it out last week. I using the leftover the leftover ex or the leftover ex extract from the human soul. I believe I have removed any corruption it held, negating the need for someone pure of heart, yes. So you did it! Tai's wish will come true, right? You can make him smile, make him proud of us. But he didn't want you to be part of this, and I agree. Let me do it. I want to make things right, be useful for once. And I trust you to keep me safe. I... I do believe that the refined method will work. I just... Please. You promised you would make his dream come true. I did. Very well. But I'll make it quick. I'll ensure your safety throughout the procedure, alright? Mm-hmm. We'll be the heroes of the underground. All thanks to you and Daddy. Heroes, huh? That has a nice ring to it. Okay, wait here. You will need to stand very still for this. Close your eyes now, begin the fusion extraction. You may feel a pinch or two but it'll all be over before you know it. Understood? Understood? 
truly believe in this, don't you? Yeah. Aww. Love you lots. Love you more. Oh. No. No, 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 no. Why didn't it work? Kanako, wake up. Wake up right now. Mommy's here. Come on. Hey. What? What have I done? So you know the truth now. Are you satisfied? Did you find joy in making me relive my darkest memories? I never claimed to be a saint. I'm drowning in a sea of mistakes like anyone else. But instead of sinking, I'm chasing the one ray of sunlight peeking through the surface. I tried letting go, moving on. But I guess deep down, I too... I'm too stubborn to live like that. A bit on her to give it to her kid is probably not. Yeah. This is my fate. Oh my god. This is how it must be. Oh my god. Sarah is shaking up by the memory. a remix of um, Hopes and Dreams. I know I panic sometimes. <laughs>
I'm pretty sure it said that she wasn't. Just that um, Shujin and their daughter was. One more time like this, and then I'm gonna switch to the controller and see if that helps.
doing pretty good that time. I don't mind how quiet I get sometimes.
I got it in terms of like I didn't get hit. <laughs> I think I did it. Damn, sorry, Sarah, my love, my child, all gone. Why wouldn't you just? Swore I had the key, saving monster kind from their demise, carrying on his legacy. It was worth the risk to me, but now, now my life is over. For nothing, for no one. I've done unforgivable things. I let my husband work himself to death. I put my precious little girl through hell, and. Oh God. Star Martlet. All for a chance to make a difference. A chance. I don't think I can bear this weight any longer. You won this battle. Do what needs to be done. What are you waiting for? Please give me this. Why are you like this? Always taking the high road. Aren't you angry? Aren't you just? Pull the trigger already. Pull it. Why? Sereba. You beat me up pretty ba badly, huh? I forgot we were in this area. Don't sweat it too much. I reckon I deserved it for the Wild East fiasco. Heck of a hit, though. I didn't know you had that in you. I'm... I'm so sorry. Where am I? Clover, we, we gotta get out of here. No. It's finished. Clover. Clover won. Y'all had a fight? And the dippy do one? My lessons worked. Wait, how much did I miss? I... I don't know what to do. Apologize, make excuses. Nothing would change really reality. I've dug a hole far too deep to climb out of. 
and for nothing. Hey, where was I a few hours ago? In the same situation? My judgment was clouded and I screwed up. But you forgave me. The four others did as well. We both made our poor choices. No sugarcoat in that. But there is hope, at least. I believe there is. I can't begin to grasp what you've been through. But this is an absolutely horrible way of dealing with it. You can't change what has happened. You're right. You can control how you live from now on. Your actions will mean everything. But Chujin, his legacy, his wish, it will never be fulfilled. Chujin might not have been the perfect monster I thought he was, but even his darkest secrets came from a caring place. And that right there is his legacy. It isn't found in a serum to save the world. Everyone else helped. Everyone he helped, everything he crafted, that's what matters. Marlet's rat. But he made life down here bearable for so many. And for that, he has my respect. I never thought about it like that. What the hell was I thinking? I was so tunnel visioned, so lost. We can work through this. We're here for you. Now, you should take time to heal, recoup, to heal, recoup. But Conical's well-being is still a valid concern. I have connections with the royal scientist, so I'll begin an investigation. Try my best to help. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Martlet. Clover, I want to apologize to you most of all. Our time in Steamworks and what I said, it wasn't fake. It did allow me to briefly forget my troubles and have fun. Yeah, um, as it turned out, using the controller was a little bit easier. <laughs> Made my movements a little bit less stiff. But my reasoning for being there... I can't begin to... Oh. Why? I mean... Huh? Thank you. I'm gonna cry. Well, I was there for a while, but not nearly as long as I thought it would, thankfully. I can't believe it's come to this, but... Clover, I think your journey is at its end. Asgore and the barrier await us. No, already? As sad as it is, Clover needs to go home. That won't work. What? Sure, we know Clover for who they are, but Asgore? He won't see Clover as we do, and he doesn't care to learn. But this is a unique situation. The king has always been kind and understanding. Yeah. Clover wouldn't hurt anyone. You think that's ever mattered in the past? The truth stings, but it is what it is. So, what? Should I take Clover back to Snowden? Hide out for the rest of our lives? Yeah, why couldn't Clover stay with us? I mean, it's plausible, but won't the Royal Guard be on the hunt? After so many encounters, Clover just disappears. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh yeah, they probably think the same thing happened again. But what about the others? You know, the next humans. Clover gets to live happy, happily, but they have to die. Oh. We don't know their hearts. Maybe they, what, deserve it? Have you learned anything? I'm just weighing our options. We're backed into a corner here, all right? Hey, calm down, guys. You know, I really thought tonight's fiasco was enough. 
Y'all talked to through things were going well. Oh, Clover. But immediately you suggest giving up the future children? I didn't mean it like that. He's, I think he's removing himself from the equation. You probably want to go home, don't you? Humanity already won by trapping us down here, yet they keep twisting the knife. This cannot continue any longer. You must have places to go, correct? The castle, the barrier. I did everything in my power to entertain. So monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. Anyway, we'll bypass the Royal Guard and plead your case to Ascor. Remember your real mission, Clover. Ascor only needs two more souls to shatter the barrier. What a world it would be if I had two old friends. Most might act cheerful, but life down here, it's hopeless. The five children you set out to find in the first place. Despite its ups and downs, our little adventure was a blast. Asgore's still out there threatening human lives. I must thank you for opening my eyes. Keep your head in the game. Turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. Come on, Clover. You're a kind soul, one of the best I've met. Clover! <laughs> Why is it this that's hitting me? <laughs> Clover, what are you doing? Making his own choice, uh, probably. Hi. Hey, uh, Clover, what's going on? You're scaring us here. It's time. What does that mean? It's time to go. No. No, 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 no. Well, think of a plan. We have options. <laughs> yeah, don't do something you'll regret it. If it's snowed in you don't lack, you can live with me. My house has a space and the posse loves you. Please, we gotta you gotta listen to us, Clover. You deserve better. Y you're uh. you're serious. Uh. Uh. I understand. Sarah. Uh. This whole time. What have we been doing? Dragging Clover around, pulling at a leash. Selfish. Clover came here by their own volition. They deserve to leave by it too. But you don't know, but you don't want this outcome, right? Surely, if there was another way. Well, let's face it, there isn't. I believe Clover realized that a long time ago. I don't know what to say. As much as I want to stop you, I see it in your eyes. This is about our freedom, isn't it? Clover, you're the bravest, most selfless human I ever met. Of course. I've only met one, but if I ever meet another one, I hope they're just like you. I promote you to sheriff because the Lord knows you earned it. But you aren't sheriff material. You're much more. I already made my feelings known in, Ho in Hotland. So, aww. Is the group hug. This means more to us than you'll ever know. To everyone. Well, I understand if you two don't want to be here for, you know. Do you have what you need? I do. 
guess the sun's getting low. I'll see you around, partner. Oh, he's giving him the gun. Got a receipt for that? <laughs> Thanks, kid. Goodbye, Clover. You've changed my life, truly. Oh, is he giving her his hat? Oh, that's gonna make me cry. <laughs> How I know you're a human now, huh? This means a lot. I'm sorry the world is like this. But people like you make it better. Thank you. We'll, we'll be outside. Oh, shit. You've given my respect. I mean it. She had a container with her too. Stay. Go on. I'll be okay. Very well. This won't be forgotten. Goodbye, Clover. So this is it. All that work just to become another cog in the machine? Huh, you've grown so predictable. I can do undo all of this right now, but maybe you've earned your rest. After all, there's always another. Can't say it's been fun, so... I suppose this is... Oh, who am I kidding? Until we meet again, friend. Wow, we actually did go grow close to Clover. You could see bits of who Flowey really is, but there's always kind of something that like shined through for him, huh? I don't know. At least it's the last one that they have to take, you know? And right after this, yep, the last leaf falls. He went back. <laughs> he went back to the stage. And he's still stuck. I couldn't really find a thing to get him unstuck. 
So he's the only one I left. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, I don't remember seeing those guys. The, um, the ones that look like they're made of metal. Oh shoot. <laughs> when he gave Martlet when he gave Martlet his hat, that almost broke me. Or it it basically did. <laughs> uh, oh the flower blooms. <laughs> Flower ro robots. We never did find out what happened to Kanako, though. Oh, looks like those two are getting along at least. Desmond. <laughs> That's a little boat. I've been thinking about that day. A lot. Time is a funny thing, you know? Guess in the big picture of my life, you were only a blip. But oftentimes, those blips make the biggest impacts. The king offered me a promotion. A guard post in a in new home. But after experiencing the worst the job had to offer, I declined. Not only that, I put in my two weeks. <laughs> I felt there was much better causes to pour myself into. Anyways, sorry that I'm putting you on one of my rafts again. Might not be the most appropriate send off after last ride. That last ride. But it's the best tribute I could think of. It's nice. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. Felt good to craft something with meaning again. You got your gift? Yeah, yeah here you go. The pistol. Uh, uh, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, uh, Someone I invited who was a friend of Clover's. Friend? Uh, hello? Uh, Is this the right place? Aww. Oh, hello. Uh, Howdy. Uh, Sorry if I'm intruding. Uh, My name is Dalvin. Um, uh, I was living in the ruins when Clover first entered the underground. Uh, so you're the first to meet him? Uh, One of the first, I suppose. Uh, anyway, when we met, I acted foolish and... Attacked Clover. I think we all did at one point. I promise I didn't last. It didn't last long though. And I held back a little. Um, where was I going with this? Clover helped you out of your situation. Yes. All in all, Clover was very kind to me. That checks out. It's nice to meet you. To meet you, Dolph. Thanks for coming. <laughs> of course. Well, no more stalling. Everyone ready? 
I believe so. Oh, wait a second. I want to place one more thing. Safety glasses? I want Clover to stay safe on the journey. Can't forget him, right? No, you can't. Snicko flower. There you go. Goodbye, friend. Thanks for all you've done. See you around, kid. Take care, Clover. I swear if they... <laughs> His theme, isn't it? What well, almost sounds like his theme. If it was, that would have been like. <laughs> uh. Sir Pilo was a playtester on this, or is it Senior Senior Pilo? I think it's C Senior Pilo. Excuse me. Cole Bones, Trent Noah, Simisir, Astrolat, Zarla, Yamana. Polybius 3D, Beat Person, Tsunami, Korion, Rand Lark, Agent Draco, Beast Case, R2D2 at KX100, Anonymous, Pietro Pan, Scoss, Minimo, Capsule Gravia, Izzy, Dragoneer, MK, special thanks to Tiff Punch Face, Jillian Brodsky, 2XMM2, Squiddish, Supersonic 7CE, Radio Loaf, Dino Doodles, Kenju, Astro Amphibian, Blembino, Anissa Hustins, Commissioner Tadpole, Autumn, uh, Team Switch, Tobo Nate, Ronan Wolfman, 9800 2015, Angel, uh, Angela, Angela Samshi, Fat Snore, and Legit Snoodle, Shay, Bright, Ryanog, Easy Am, Night Margin, Yellow Afterlife, Suzu, and Game Jolt. Yeah, honestly, the soundtrack for this game is great. Like, the music is wonderful. Based on the world of Undertale, created by Toby Fox and Temmie Chang. Oh, another bed of flowers. Is that the toy gun that we get? Probably. Cause that's what in that's what like it's implied, right? Like each one of the weapons you find is something that one of the other humans used. Somebody calls for help. You answer the call. was from you know who yeah <laughs> right when he right when they need you the most it's that the end wow I didn't think it would hit me this hard <laughs> a good game. <sighs> oh, it just closed. You can't just do that. Oh my god. Uh, only a little. <laughs> Shut up, Mr. Laffy Moon. You, kn you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit of an emotional guy sometimes, especially with stuff like this. But yeah. That was great. Well. <laughs> I'll probably let it, let it out when I'm thinking about it later. 
but that's basically it. Now you what you know what really makes me let out like stuff like that? It's when I listen to the music again. Once I listen to this music again, it's gonna like all come out. <laughs> ah, but man, that's basically it. I can't stay on this blank screen for too long. So that being said, I'm gonna let you go, Mr. Laffy Man. I hope Nilo 2020 enjoys this when they watch it back later. Um, thank you to everyone who joined me on this. Thank you to like the people that followed me during this. This was great. All right. With that being said, I think I said that twice. I'll see you. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Uh, next time will be something different. Probably something um, familiar. All right. <laughs> later, Mr. Laffyman.